Hello and welcome back to our next unit on weather. So for the next four days of notes, we're going to study weather. Um, to our topic today is water properties, day one of four. So water plays a huge role in our weather, right? So you will know what weather is. You will know what makes air humid. And you will know the difference between evaporation and condensation. All right, here we go. So... Quick right. Have you ever visited someplace tropical like Texas, Florida, Hawaii? What did the air feel like? Okay. And then, why do you think water droplets form on the outside of a cold beverage or on grass in the morning? Okay. Here we go. So, weather versus climate. Okay. Weather changes from day to day. One day it may be hot and dry. The next day, cold, wet, and stormy. Well, climate is the average weather for a particular region over a long period of time. As the saying goes, climate is what you expect and weather is what you get because it's day-to-day. -day. Weather is day-to-day. -day. So, for your notes, what is weather? Okay, question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence. Okay, go ahead and pause this. I'm going to move on here while you write. Okay, humidity. If you remember from our unit on atmosphere and wind, air is made up of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. So we have all these nitrogen atoms in our air, okay, nitrogen molecules, I should say. And we have all these oxygen molecules floating around in our air, okay, 21%, okay. But there's other stuff in our air. Air also contains a small amount of water vapor. Right? That's right, water as a gas. So there's water in our air. Okay, we call that water vapor. Water as a gas, not a liquid or ice. Right? So water in our air. Now let's imagine we're someplace tropical like Hawaii. Okay. Where you're you're near a large body of water. Here the air is more humid. Okay, so there's m even more water molecules in the air. Okay, so because there's more water in the air, we say the air is more humid. It's more sticky. Okay, makes a lot of people's hair turn curly too. All right, so that's humidity. So humidity is a measure of the amount of water vapor in the air. So how much water is in the air? That's what humidity measures. Warmer air can hold more moisture or water vapor. Okay, so what is humidity? Question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence. Go ahead and pause this. I'm going to move on. Okay, evaporation. Water exists in our atmosphere in a solid, liquid, and gas form. In order for a liquid like water to become a gas, energy must be absorbed. If enough energy is absorbed, the molecules can escape and enter the gas phase, right? Gas. So, we have energy being absorbed right here, and water, right? And if we get enough energy, okay, it's going to evaporate. Okay? We're going to go from a liquid to a gas here. From a liquid to a gas. We're adding energy, right? So, condensation. Well, think of condensation as evaporation in reverse. If we remove heat or energy, okay, we go from gas back to a liquid. Okay, so if warm, humid air comes in contact with a cold glass, warm, well, excuse me, water droplets will form. Okay, so you're cooling the air around the outside of the glass. You're getting condensation. Water going from a gas in the air back to a liquid on the outside of a glass here. Well, clouds form the same way. You're cooling the air, essentially. Okay? So, if water vapor in the air cools, it will turn back into a liquid, forming cloud droplets. Okay? So, condensation is the process by which water vapor in the air is changed into liquid water. So, notice, we've gone from liquid down here where the lake is. Okay? Liquid water. 
to gas, water vapor, and then back up here and back into the water phase or the liquid phase, water droplets. Clouds are water droplets, so you're going to condensation is occurring up here where clouds are forming. We're going back, we're cooling the air, and we're making water droplets. Notice heat is released. Okay, so what is evaporation and condensation for your notes? Question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Okay, use the answer bank to determine which words best complete the sentence here. Okay, go ahead and pause this while you write. I'm going to move on. All right, so the water cycle. The last thing we're going to talk about is the water cycle. Okay, so we got some land, we got some water. Well, what's happening here? So, the ocean absorbs radiation heat from the sun. The water is a very good at absorbing heat and holding that and storing that heat. Okay? And as we learned, okay, evaporation causes water molecules to rise. As it rises, it cools. And we go from a liquid to a gas and then back to a liquid form in the form of clouds, water droplets. Okay? So, as water vapor rises, it cools and condenses back into a liquid forming clouds. Okay? So, water is now in the atmosphere. Okay? It's stored in the atmosphere. These are water droplets. That's what clouds are. Okay? Then, let's say the wind blows these clouds over the land. Okay? Okay? And as, they, as clouds rise even higher, they cool even more, dropping precipitation, snow, hail, rain. Okay? So, it's releasing rain. These clouds are releasing precipitation. So water is now back on the land here. All right. So water is now stored on land, and it now flows to the oceans through rivers or groundwater. Okay, so we get a complete cycle here. Okay, that is the water cycle. So water on land now flows through rivers or groundwater back to the ocean. Okay. All right, so what is the water cycle? Draw a simple diagram for your notes if you can, okay? And write the question on the left-hand side, answer on the right-hand side. Use the answer bank to determine which word best completes the sentence, and go ahead and pause this for your notes. Okay, summarize. All right, so go ahead and, for 20 points, summarize what you learned today. All right, um, go ahead and pause this while you finish up your notes. Next time, we'll see you for day two of four. Have a good night. Go ahead and pause this, please.